My brother peed in a cup once and my sister <gasps> drank it. This was sent in by Casey. That's a lot of boyfriends. You need to slow yourself down. I'd rather stay at school than poop my pants. I eat no, my no, skin off my disgusting. toes. I'm squatting down, hold it, all of a sudden the poo drops out. I wanted confessions, I didn't want to hear that. Hey, hey DVG fam! So today's video is gonna be a juicy one because we are gonna be reacting to your confessions. Dun dun dun! Ooh. So we put out on our Instagram to give us your confessions. Obviously they're gonna be anonymous. We're not gonna expose you, but we are gonna have some entertainment at your <laughs> expense. So thank you very much for getting involved and sending them to us. Casey's not happy with me because she actually said that this was an idea that she wanted to do for her channel. Yeah, Apparently about she said like that a few to weeks me. ago. And dad shot me down and he was like, why do people wanna send it on Instagram when their username's gonna be there so you're gonna know who they are? And I was like, oh, I can do it on an anonymous, like it's like a Snapchat kind of app thing. And it doesn't tell we were usernames and he just shut me down for it and now it's I his idea i vaguely now it. remember that but, yeah, but i don't today... think he was shutting down i think it was more just saying how would that work because people are going to tell you their darker secrets but you're going to know who it is yeah but why yeah. did i not I do think... it because he shut me down about it <laughs> i apologize casey and you can now do the video so yeah okay, <laughs> okay so first first confession this one was sent in from I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, same. Okay, when I was young, okay, wait. When I was younger, I played catch with my hamster <gasps> and its leg fell off. <gasps> oh my gosh. I mean, it's not, it's not funny. I, I, it is funny. But oh, how did the leg fall off? Because she obviously <gasps> like, I don't know. I would just like to think this is just a joke and this isn't serious, but oh my wow. God. Hopefully you don't have any pets anymore. Like, yeah. cause that's Oh, quite, you learned your yeah. lesson not to play catch with her. Mum did it with her cat before. No, I didn't. <laughs> you wanted to see if it land on four legs. <laughs> huh? Did you really do that? <laughs> yeah, she used to throw it up. Really. Yeah, she used oh to throw it and it used to go on the wall like, no, it didn't. Yes, now you're waking it up. Sarah's cat. No, you've no. always said that. My, no, I said so. Did yes, you have? I told you that before. Well, like, it, not against the ball. Not. She made that up. Yeah, I think. You know, you know, no, I don't think we should say this because kids don't much undo it. But if you if you throw a cat in the air, it, it says a cat always lands on its feet. So I didn't. I did it gently, just a little. Like, uh, definitely, like, definitely like, like with vans, remember like the shoes. Everyone, like if you throw them, they always land. Yeah, up you like. threw vans. Yeah, right. I threw vans. vans. I yeah. try it with vans. Don't try throw vans. vans. No, cat no cat vans. Don't do it. Can I just <laughs> please say, no cats were harmed in the making of this. Thing. Okay, guys. Before we do the next confession, if you haven't already, then make sure to subscribe. We're nearly at one million subscribers, which is incredible. Yeah. So help us get there. Hit that subscribe button. My brother peed in a cup once, and my sister <gasps> drank it. She oh. still doesn't know. Oh. Did not know? Oh, yeah. Because maybe he just done a little maybe pee. Maybe he drinks in a like lot a of big... water. It's really clear. Or maybe he done a little bit of pee in a glass of apple juice. There's only a little oh. bit of pee. I yeah. don't know. Oh. There's no more information. Or was it an there. accident or did they pee? You don't so accidentally pee. No, she was going to drink. You don't accidentally pee in yeah. someone's drink. Okay. I imagine it was a prank. But... <laughs> oh, that's a gross prank. I feel like it's only a prank if the other person then finds out. Yeah. So I'm just going to say, I think you should now let your no, sister know. No, I don't. Know. No, don't. And ever you should tell film them. her reaction and send it to her. No, don't ever <laughs> let them know. Yeah. I'd rather never know. Film her reaction and send it to us, okay? Well, imagine okay. the sister's watching this and then she's like, oh, that was you. Yeah, imagine you're watching this with your sister. Now is the time to turn to your sister and say, that was about you. Uh -huh, you <laughs> drank so and so's we. My sister wanted to borrow my shirt, so I put itching powder in it. <gasps> it was so itchy she had to go to A&E. <gasps> oh! That's a lot of itching powder. <laughs> Oh my oh. god, that is that Grace. I'm gonna do that because Grace no. likes to steal my clothes recently. And I managed, when I like got up to her and confront her, she goes, "Yeah, but it's in my drawer." I was like, "So then take it out of your drawer and give it back to me." Yeah, because Casey's stuff sometimes ends up in my wardrobe. You don't see me like showing around the house you, going. No, you oh, don't. Yeah. You leave it in your wardrobe, and I go, "Dad, have you seen my top?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, it's in my wardrobe." But that's what happens when you have oversized T-shirts that are like my size. Then they end up in my wardrobe. I went onto my mom's phone and found out that she was pregnant before her dad or anyone else in the family <gasps> knew. Oh, that's <sighs> juicy. Wow. So That is juicy. I, I actually have like, I want to then know like, did what happened next? Did you tell her? Like, yeah. Did you Does tell her? Did she know you know? Did you then tell? What, as in, other... wait, wait, read it again. So her mum was pregnant. Maybe it was like a message from doctor or something. Mm. I don't know. Or maybe a picture of the pregnancy test yeah. or something. Yeah, and she... She, the mum hadn't told like the rest of the family or even her dad yet. 
and she had then found out mm -hmm. before anyone else Imagine in the family. Imagine if mummy's oh. pregnant and then oh, I you she find meant, out. Like, it was like ages ago. So I didn't really understand it. Yeah, don't worry. Never go through your mum and dad's phones, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my dad tried to hide his girlfriends from us. It says GFS, is that girlfriends? Yeah. Okay, so your dad is a player. Uh, he obviously had multiple girlfriends, but one day we found hair clips in his flat and he's bald. <laughs> 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 so they definitely weren't his. Okay. I'm presuming that your dad and your mum aren't together. Like, it's not like a scandal. It's just that. Yeah. Okay. I once flicked pate at a French man's face on a holiday <gasps> instead of hitting a wasp. Oh. <laughs> so you went to like... Yeah. And you flick. Oh, why would you flick him? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. she might have had a knife in her hand. And then as she's. Ah, wasp! Like that. She's got her and pate it's. And then, yeah. Well, and then, I thought it was Oh, we're going to hit Pate is like a paste. It's, yeah. yeah. I, I thought it's you said paste. knife. Yeah, on the knife. On she's knife. on your bread. bread. Oh. Or in your. You don't pat it, you spread it. Mm. So, yeah. I've had over 20. Boyf what? Well, what? Mm. Did you read it? <laughs> I've had over 20 boyfriends and my parents only know about three of them. <laughs> this was sent in by Casey. What? Yeah. <laughs> she, okay. You told me you only had one, <laughs> Jake. Yeah, um, that's a lot. That's a lot of boyfriends. You need yeah. to slow yourself down. Hope okay. you not at the same time. Um, I swapped phones with my dad because his was better and he still hasn't noticed. Uh, that's something my dad <laughs> would do. My dad would not notice, wouldn't he? Oh my yeah. goodness. Like, like, imagine if the dad had an iPhone and she had some old like, flip phone. phone. <laughs> and, like, he's just like, I don't remember it having this bit. Like <laughs> That's very clever though because she would have had to swap everything. Yeah. Mm. You start it or yeah. You deserve it. That was yeah. smart. I eat no, my no, skin of my toes. That's disgusting. You eat the skin off your toes. Oh my gosh, okay? that's actually disgusting. I wanted confessions. I didn't want to hear that. Oh that's my gosh. Really I, nice. actually, I actually feel a little bit sick in my mouth. Well, and like, I know actually, like, I've heard this bite. before. No! Oh. She oh. said you oh. swallow it or bite. Oh. That's gross. Oh. Oh. I've actually heard like this is... I've heard this somewhere before, like people do, it's like the dry skin. Oh, yeah, I can't remember where I've heard it. That's disgusting. It's in your porridge, Casey. Oh, oh shut up, I don't eat porridge. But people <laughs> do eat skin. weird things, like, don't people eat, or they just bite, do people eat their fingernails, just bite them? Don't know. Bite them. But it, some people do actually eat. Can we them. move on, because that's disgusting. Yeah. Gross. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, oh, what? Okay, oh, these are getting gosh, weird. Really? Oh, these no. are getting really weird. Okay. Oh, no. I once ate guinea pig poop off the floor because I thought it was chocolate. Oh. <laughs> it's an easy mistake. At least it wasn't on purpose. Easy mistake because I would pick chocolate up off the floor and eat that. No, why? But thank goodness I don't have a guinea, pig, guinea pig too. <laughs> we should let Millie it. run around the floor in the kitchen. So oh, so that, that'd be, that tiny poo, there'd be no point even if it was oh, chocolate. Oh, you'd be that'd like, be don't waste it. It's that'd chocolate. <laughs> you know me. I once pooped in a sink while I was sleepwalking and woke up in the sink. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> you slept walked to the sink, you pooped in it, and but then you woke up in the sink. <laughs> oh, that's At least you were close by to somewhere you could just like wash off. That's a stuff. big thing though, isn't it? Sleep walking and... And pooping in the sink? Weeing and pooing places. Really? So, Never heard of it. Sometimes there's people that sleep walk and then let themselves out the house. I had a cousin that used to let himself... Then my auntie used to have different locks because he would just go missing in the night because that's what he would do is come out of bed oh, wow. and go out the front door. Or was it just like that was his excuse when yeah. he got caught sneaking out? <laughs> oh, mum. I don't know how I got to this Who's club. I have an obsession with eating wet dog food. You nasty. No one knows about it. I love the taste. Oh. Is that just fake? Cause no, I don't. I, I genuinely think that's... It. Who likes oh. to taste dog food? I'll tell you who likes to... This person does <laughs> Um. First of all, it's like, how do you, how did you find out that you like the taste of wet dog food? Because it smells Why? so bad. So how do you it's get past all, the yeah, smell of dog food? I want to try this. Is you want to try food. it? No, buddy. It's like, it's the bacon bit. So that smells of um, fish. No, it's you, want, you want to try, try it. it. The frazzles. You want to try it? You want to try it. I thought it tastes like frazzles. I mean, I, like, it if smells I... smells like frazzles. Grace has a little I actually, I know what she's talking about. Like, I would maybe, if someone sort of dared me, I would try that. But the wet dog food, like, yeah, no. no. I and like, no what? How? I'm just trying to picture how are you eating that? You're just nicking a bit out of your dog's bowl, or you actually, when everyone's gone out, having a bowl of it with uh, a spoon and like uh, sitting there eating it. Maybe her dog has like proper chicken and stuff that's, or steak. Does she season it as well? Like a little bit of pepper, a oh, bit of mayonnaise. Do you or cook it, microwave oven? Oh lord! Imagine she puts guys, it on toast. Guys, guys, can we just? <laughs> you, 
have any of you got any confessions? Can you let me know how you actually have this? Um, the no, person who sent this. Either. How do you actually? Do you have, have any that? weird confessions? Like no, never being no. say. Do you eat dog food? No, I eat cat food. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I have. If I have any kind of weird things that no one... No, I don't. Like, anything weird I do, you like know that Are I we do. in the shower where everyone does that? <laughs> I don't. You're just going to turn your leg. I don't. I mean, anymore. I don't really. So just know I that then when you have a shower after her and you don't wash your feet. <laughs> yeah, because I know Cause that's, a, wash... that's a confession of mine. I don't wash my feet. But I don't have smelly feet. And we've had this conversation before. When I'm in the shower, all the water and the soapy water's at the bottom. So my feet are being so washed. It was so wee water now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it goes down. So gross. I cut my mum's... Mom, you definitely do it. No, I don't wee in the shower. <laughs> you no, I do not. I've never weed in the shower. Do. I have. It's this convenient. I don't, I don't I do it regularly. I always before I get in. I don't regularly do it. Just no, neither. Like, it's not like I'm I don't like, plan right, to do it. Right, I need to wee, so I'm going to get in the shower at this point. <laughs> like, what, yeah. So when you need a toilet, you're going to get out of the shower. I always wee before I get in the shower. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, Can I we actually just move on? Before you yeah. get in. I always do. Yeah, same. It's just my habit. Okay, but if you was in the shower and you needed a wee, would you just get out? No, you wouldn't. You just wee. I wouldn't <laughs> have got... I, Anyway, hypothetically speaking, you're in the shower, you're desperate for a wee, are you getting out to wee? But that wouldn't happen to oh, me. Just no. hypothetically speaking. Yes, I'd get out to wee. <laughs> no, you would. You'd get out soaking wet. Yeah. No, you okay. wouldn't. I'd get out soaking wet to turn my music over, so I would do it. Okay, no, fine. You wouldn't. To have a wee. You just wouldn't. Anyway. Next question. We in a bath, that's different. <sighs> Joking. Oh my <laughs> god. That's weird. Yeah, that is different. Can it's we weird. move on from the wee? <laughs> yeah. Please. Can we move okay. on? Okay. But wait, <laughs> I we cut... in a swim pool? No, I've done. <laughs> I cut my mum's curtains and said my brother did it. My mum then threw <gasps> away his Xbox. <gasps> no, oh, that, that is sad. That's, yeah. that's really wait, made wait, me cry. One time, why would you cut the curtains? First of all, <laughs> yeah. Why? Why would you cut the curtains? Right, first of all, you definitely should go and be honest to your mum because your poor brother. Like, ah, oh. oh, yeah. I'm really gonna like. Imagine say, you getting your phone taken away, like because your brother done something. That's what it's like. If you like. That's happen. deep. I really think if you're watching this now, like you should just confess, confess yeah. and like make it right. Oh, we will. <laughs> you won't be able to go your whole life just or knowing write, that guilt. Or, or write an apology letter and leave it downstairs when you go to bed because you could be in serious trouble. You might get dragged out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> One time I did, I can't remember mum was telling me off and she said she couldn't think of a punishment for me. It was like eight years and years ago. So I said, why don't you take my favourite Barbie? And I gave her Grace's favourite Barbie. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Mum, take my favourite bath. <laughs> Grace is looking at what? When, when I was younger, like, my brother used to do so many naughty things and and I'd get in trouble for it. Yeah, your Always. brother was very naughty. Mm. You was a good kid, generally. Yeah, Mum, noted. Wait, what was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, do you know what would be really, really funny? What? Is if the people who sent in the confessions, like, say, for example, that girl who got her brother's Xbox thrown away, if she actually filmed. <laughs> her confessing no. and then we can oh. see the reactions or like yeah let's do another video of seeing you confess yeah reacting to you reacting to us reacting to what? your confessions what? no that's you just made the world confusing because otherwise they would look they would watch our video and then we'd have to watch their video watching our video watching theirs you know what I mean <laughs> you know what I mean Ooh, this one's this one's serious. This isn't a joke. Yeah. This one. So Grace, no, she keeps looking over. She's like, yeah, but you I'm... are holding like that. It's very hard not to. Guys, this one's serious. Let's try. I think I may be pregnant, but scared to tell anyone. Tell anyone, even the dad. Obviously, this is quite a serious one that I think is a really difficult. Well, especially, the, it. I was going to say. Well, yeah, I, I think both say, of us. I think especially like relate. depending on your age. I don't know how old you are. So the younger you are, like the harder this is going to be. Yeah. But well, I, we we've been 18. through it. Yeah. Yeah. We were 18 when we found out Sarah was pregnant with Casey. Mm -hmm. I'm an absolute angel child. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So telling my mum and dad was like the most difficult thing I've ever had to do. It I don't think really... you even told Granddad, did you? Didn't you? I told my mum. He, he told. He told. He told his mum. But first of all, telling. So you, why don't you say you told your mum and dad first? Yeah. So I told. Who did you I, tell first? I told. Or... I actually told Auntie Emma first because she sister. was. She was around. My sister. She was around the day when I found out. Um. And then obviously I told Joel first, but I mean out of my family. Yeah. Then I told but Auntie Emma. She hasn't Emma. even told the dad. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How it, did you? First of all, you have to find somebody that you you know is not gonna. You it's trust. Just, yeah. That you're gonna trust and that you just. And will give you good advice. Yeah. Yeah. And that does That's not always your best friend. That's the weird thing. That's not always gonna be your best friend. It might be someone else, like in your family or another friend. But yeah. 
you need to tell someone because as soon as you start, as soon as you do, like mm. you're gonna feel a lot better and you've got some support. And then ultimately you're gonna have to tell your parents. And as hard as it is, like honestly, when I I waited ages and you were like, it was to the point where I was like, you know, showing, and I was like, you need to tell your, your mom. mom's gonna see I'm pregnant. And I was like, okay, so I rung my mom and I made it seem like I'd done something really, really horrendous. She, yeah, she thought you. Had I was like, mom, someone. I've done something really. You know, I've really got myself in a situation. My mom was like, just tell me. So she was like, you know, thinking I've like killed someone, I'm going to jail for the rest of my life. So when I told her that Sarah was pregnant, in a small way, she was kind of relieved yeah, that it said, wasn't more serious. Didn't she say something like, you're bringing a life in you? Yeah, she went, oh, on, so. she went, oh, it's not a death, it's a life. So that's good. So yeah, I think as soon as I'd done that, the weight was lifted yeah. and I wasn't worrying about it every day. And then I was more thinking about, you know, having the baby and like how we're gonna you know yeah. he was able to kind of enjoy it more and like not be worrying so it's really difficult but like the sooner you can tell people you'll get that support and that with me and my with my mum and dad and um, me and my mum were walking and i told her so that i didn't have to get eye contact with her because we were side by side and you could run if you needed to. yeah <laughs> if i was gonna get her no i was able to tell her because we wasn't face to face which i think face to face is really hard um and then i actually said to her i I genuinely can't tell my dad, because I was a real daddy's girl. So I made her tell my dad when I'd gone to bed. And I did hear a few swear words. But then he came up, gave me a big hug, and they were really supportive, obviously. Well, your family and my family yeah. were very supportive. And yeah. here she is now. Here she is oh. now. And they were great ever since. <laughs> <laughs> it was one I made earlier. <laughs> but yeah, I think the main thing is like, you really do need that support, and you need to not be dealing with that all by yourself, because that's yeah. just a horrible place to be. And it's just and it's, it's not awful. always as bad. When you when you feel like you've got to tell something, you always make it in your head worse. that it's, it's worse. Like, so yeah. it's not always as bad as you Hopefully. may think. Good luck with that. We wish yeah. you the best. Okay, back to the, the less serious ones. When I was little, I pooped my pants in school so I could, just so I could go home. <laughs> Are you That's joking? Good. Well, she could have been in reception so it wouldn't be as bad as it. It's always going to be that seven. bad. You, you pooped your pants so you could go home. Like, you I pretended pretend to be, to be sick. sick. Yeah, yeah, why don't you just pretend to be sick? Because some schools don't just let home. No, but if you, you actually, actually like, throw something down the toilet or in a sick bag, like, made it look like sick. Although... Oh, I know she's just giving everyone tips on how to get <laughs> out of school. No, but you know Ava, like, yeah, she actually threw up in front of the teacher and they still didn't send her home. Exactly. So you contradict yourself, actually. No, I, I know, but as in, as in I just thought of that. Yeah. But like, okay. they don't just send you home. That I'd rather stay at school than poop my pants than get sent off. Yeah, Because <laughs> then I'm the kid who at school pooped their pants and like, no one wants to be that kid. I've had a crush on my best friend for two years and this has been sent in by Roland. And Roland, <laughs> I am flattered, but like, no, it's not gonna happen. I'm joking, obviously it's not from Roland. Um, yeah, I've had a crush on my best friend for two years. You should do the TikTok, you know, when you just kiss your crush. You know that one. Is that a trend on friend. TikTok? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that. <laughs> I'd say like maybe you should Talk. tell them. It's better because if you think they feel the same way, then you should say something. But if you don't, then you don't want to jeopardise your friendship. Yeah, actually that's Use a good a big one. Words. I know. <laughs> like, yeah, have they given you any other signs that, like, maybe they also like you? And if they haven't... Imagine we say another one. I have added a crush on my But what about if she hasn't given any when? signs because she doesn't know how the other person feels? So yeah, you've got to let, let off a few signs or something. But also, again, if you want to, like, film the reaction of you telling them <laughs> and you want to send it to us and we could do another video, you For know... For free. Whatever. Okay. Another poo one, so lots of oh. poo ones. When I was younger, I had a poo in a tree and then a cow came and ate it and then I cried. What? <laughs> and I'm wondering if that was just a dream or like that's kind of Wait, crazy. why did you cry? Because at least it was gone. Maybe, I don't know. She didn't want to share a poo with a cow. I don't know. <laughs> Although, can we talk about when I went, went to the park the other day with and Sophie? And you did that? No. Oh, okay. With Sophie and she said she needed a wee. So we were out obviously in the middle of nowhere. We were going for a walk in the woods. So I was like, okay, so nature calls. I'm squatting down, hold her. All of a sudden the poo drops down. Oh, wow, wow, wow. From Sophie, by the way. <laughs> what? Because it almost <laughs> sounded like we was talking about you. Like yeah, I squatted squat down. down. Nature calls. I mean, I'm holding her. Sophie, and yeah. And all of a sudden the poo falls out. I was like, Sophie, you don't just do poos in the woods. She looked at me like, why not? Why not? This one says, I sometimes hide chocolate in my house so that I don't have to share it with my kids. And like, what kind of evil, evil mother sent this confession in? 
Sarah Jane. Oh, well, you should have said morning. When my kids get the blanket first, I will steal it off them and threaten them with the go. You're going to bed and free to one if you don't get the blanket. Yeah, sometimes you know I just enjoy chocolate and I like to have Where it to is myself. It? Where <laughs> she wants to know where I don't actually have any now because I've been healthy. She used to have it in the cupboard or she used to have it in the basket above the oven. What is <laughs> but you two have gotten yeah. onto that now, so now you do eat it with me. But it's hidden from Yeah, me. well, me and Grace got the big it. blanket first and we're sitting on the sofa. We've never done this. We've this. When? Yeah. The YouTube video the other day. The one that went out when we were done the ignoring kids. You yeah. brought it up and then we all had a big argument about it. Well, you want to know our story time, go watch previous video. Excuse me. Previous video. The second last video. But yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure every mum does that anyway. High chocolate is how to get through to kids. Okay, guys, that's all the confessions for today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time on Dad V. Girls, bye!